Good morning, my friends. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on this wonderful Wednesday. And I hope that you are having a wonderful Wednesday. If not, come and join us at 10 a.m. for our men's Bible study, ladies prayer meeting, uh, 445, our family night supper. I think we're having beef tips and rice. It'll be good. And then uh, 545, uh, prayer meeting, Bible study, handbell choir, youth and children's activities, 645, celebration choir. So big day today, lots of opportunities for you to be involved. Right now, join me in 1 Corinthians chapter 7. And Paul is, is, is talking to us about how important it is for us to be holy as God is holy, especially when it comes uh, to the, the sexual arena, because there's nothing more, um, more deadly uh, in in the, the lives of Christians than the temptations that involved in our sensual desires to get involved in things that we shouldn't. And Paul says, when we do that, when we do those things, we are bringing Christ into the mix. Well, then he, he starts talking about the way things are supposed to work in terms of the sexual relationships, what God has in store for us. Look at, at chapter 7. He says, now concerning the things of which you wrote to me, apparently they had sent him a letter asking questions. Uh, one of those questions was probably about, well, you know, should, should we remain celibate? Is that what this is all about? Listen to what he says. It is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, because of sexual immorality, let each man have his own wife and let each woman have her own husband. Let the husband render to his wife the affection due her and likewise also the wife to her husband. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but the husband does. And likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Now, I'm going to pause there for just a minute because what he's talking about here is mutual submission to each other in our relationship, whether it is emotional or physical or even spiritual. Over in the book of Ephesians, that's what Paul says. He says, submit yourselves one to another. And, and it's important for us to get this. Even though he's talking here about husbands have authority over the wife's body, he also says wives have, have authority over the husband's body. And what he's talking about here is that we were created to be in a relationship with God first, to be in relationships with each other, and to be in a relationship as a husband and a wife. You remember that was the first great commission in the Old Testament. Jesus spoke to Adam and Eve and he says, go forth and multiply. I mean, they were supposed to uh, inhabit the, the, the earth. And so that uh, marriage relationship between a husband and a wife, the intention is that they will have a sexual relationship and have children, okay? And he says, understand this. There, there is a, a time, perhaps, when, and we'll talk about this uh, probably tomorrow more, there's a time, perhaps, for you to be celibate for a short period of time. Or maybe God has called you to celibacy, to singleness, as we would say in, in, in our culture today. When God calls you to that, then he will empower you to do that. Otherwise, the temptations will become so great that you will probably give in uh, unless you are very strong, unless you are very careful, and you will surrender to that temptation towards sexual immorality. That's what Paul is, is going to be saying here as we move forward. But in this part, he's saying, husbands and wives, you have to understand that you are created for each other and only each other. Sexual relationships are designed for a husband and a wife within a marriage relationship, period. Period. And we got to get that in our culture today. And I, I know that, that a lot of people will say, well, Brother Ben, you're just being a prude. Well, I, I'm, I may be a prude, but what I'm aiming for is to be biblically correct and to be holy as God is holy and to teach uh, you what the Word of God says about this marriage relationship. Paul says, yeah, there are those who are called to celibacy. No, no, no problem with that when God calls. But he says, because of the temptations for sexual immorality, a man and a woman need to come together as husband and wife and then to take care of each other's sexual needs as they arrive. Render affection, uh, he says, um, that is due her or that is due him. That is what God has called us to do. He's created this wonderful relationship for us to enjoy and to celebrate but only within the marriage relationship. Look what he says as, as we move to verse 5. He says, Do not deprive one another except with consent for a time that you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer and come back together again so that Satan does not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. You get that? 
we have to, there may be times when God calls us to, to take uh, that time and fast and pray, but he says, make sure you come back together and take care of those, those needs that you might have. Uh, think about that today. Marriage relationship, it's important. Share this with our young people. Make sure they understand this and uh, pray about it. Be blessed, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.